Jazz the Medium here. I hope everyone had a great day today. I made my day the best that I can make it. I had a good day today. Today, we are going to talk about balancing the root chakra and balancing finances. Um, when your root chakra is imbalanced, it can definitely affect your own finances, but we'll get there in a minute. First, I wanna talk about the basics. Um, for those who don't know, chakras are um, the little energy centers. Um, another way that I look at chakras is that they're centers of thought. Um, there's seven main chakras in the body that um, we speak mostly of. It's the root, the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart, the throat, the brow, and the crown. Um, today we're going to talk mostly about the root chakra. Basic info about the root. The root is located in the base of the spine. Its color is red. Its planet is earth. It deals with safety, security, communication, stability, things of that nature. Um, its color is red if I didn't say that already. And its model is I am. I like that. <laughs> well since security is one of them if you have financial insecurities or if you're always worried about having enough money do i have enough money to pay my bills do i have enough money to get food do i have enough money to do anything that creates lack and that lack can definitely create imbalance in your root chakra don't forget um i also look at chakras as um centers of thought so your thoughts can definitely create imbalance so another way to balance it is through your thoughts but i'll get there in a second um a few things that you can do to balance your root chakra are uh, one thing is you can root yourself to the earth go outside for a walk in nature sit next to a tree um, when I go outside, I like to go barefooted sometimes, put my feet in the dirt or the grass, or I like to imagine roots coming out the bottom of my feet and anchoring to the earth, like to anchor myself to the earth. Um, that definitely helps. Uh, visualization tool I use is like, I might wear red or light a red candle, or um, you can also have a red crystal with you, but close your eyes and you know relax yourself and imagine your chakra i always see flowers you know imagine like a red flower and if it's not turning or if it's turning counterclockwise that can tell you that it's imbalanced so kind of breathe through it and then imagine it turning clockwise you know kind of like blowing a pinwheel you want the pinwheel to go a certain way that you want it to go so that's a good tool that you can use too Try different exercises, try yoga, try jogging or going for brisk walks and things of that nature. That definitely helps with this. Take control of your finances. If you're worried about finances, one good thing to do is to track them. Track how much you have coming in and track how much is going out. Write them down, create logs or anything you have to do to just take control of what you have. If there's something that you don't need, cut it out or cut back. Um, materialism like if you want if you like focus on too many material things that's also a sign of an imbalance another sign of a uh, sign of an imbalance may be like um kidney problems or lower back problems problems with your legs problems with your bladder those can also um show too because we all know that um imbalance in your chakras can also create physical issues as well um daily affirmations are also something good that you can do good ones you can use is like i am secure or i am safe or i am disciplined or i have great ideas that can make money you know tell yourself that every day because um, everyone's creative in their own little way but most importantly you control your thought if you're constantly thinking i'm broke i don't have any money i don't have this i don't have enough that i don't have this i don't have you're, you're, you're creating that. So the key is to know that you have enough, you know, know that you have enough, know that you can find a way to make enough, know that you can make do, you know, me, I've been single parent for years. I've always made a way holidays, month, to month bills, whatever. I've always made a way. There's never been a time where I just didn't have, but it all starts with thought. 
A good book to read would be a book called Poverty Consciousness by Christopher Huffman that all talks about um, consciousness and how your thoughts can manifest or create certain things. And I highly, highly, highly recommend that book. It is definitely a must read. There's also tons of information on YouTube and the internet about your root chakra, how to balance it, you know, food you can eat, eat some red food. <laughs> food you can eat or anything of that nature you know try like more like a more healthy diet um but thanks for checking the video out jazz the medium if you would like to book a reading you can book at www.jazzthemedium.com or you can email me at jazzthemedium at gmail.com peace